Rui Lopez opening, Morphe defense, anti-martial variation, 8, BB79.D3 D6. D3 D6. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. A6 forces the bishop must choose between exchanging and withdrawing. BA4 safely retreats the bishop while keeping pressure on the knight. NF6 attacks the undefended e4 pawn and develops the knight at the same time. Castling gets the king out of the center and prepares to develop the rook to e1. B7 develops the dark squared bishop and prepares to castle. 1 rupee centralizes the rook and protects the e4 pawn. B5 gains space on the queen side and forces the bishop to the b3 square. BB3 is forced, but the bishop is well placed because it attacks the f7 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. A4 takes space on the queen side and attacks the b5 pawn. Fianchetto move BB7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. D3 supports the e4 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. D6 supports the e5 pawn and controls the c5 square. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is the final book action. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. That's good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. This reveals an attack that poses a threat to a rook. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Very precise. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. It's alright. That's good. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. That is good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. That's good. This poses a threat to a queen who is confined. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. That is good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is quite good. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Takes back. This threatens to pin a knight. It is best. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. It is quite good. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. 
this poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. By posing a threat to a bishop and compelling it to flee, this gains a tempo. It is ideal. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is quite good. It's alright. That's good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. When a rook retreats, this attack wins a tempo. It is ideal. Thus, the assaulted rook is protected. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. By elevating it to the 7th rank, this poses a threat of activating a rook. That's good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. White is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is excellent. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.